Welcome. In front of me is a new Xiaomi Mi 10 at 5G and today I'll go over a brief unboxing along with an overview of the device. So as you can see this is the box that it comes in. It looks fairly nice. Just get it quickly open because no one really cares about the box. Inside um, the paperwork um, no one really cares but I already know that there is also a case. So there's a case that we'll look at uh, briefly and also it comes right here with the uh, little adapter for, for the headphones if you still use those. And going to the setting the phone on the side which is already set up, I already went through a setup and a little bit of, like playtime with the device so I know what I'm getting into. So just the paper that was holding or cardboard that was holding the phone. Then you get the charging cable, which is a type A to type C, just a typical thing. And then the massive uh, 30 watt charger. So yeah, this is basically the max 30 watts that it outputs. And it's a fairly good one. So yeah, just drop that back in here. Come back to the device itself. And also the case that it comes with. So let's check that really quickly. It's a fairly stiff one actually, doesn't actually like want to bend much. So it's a fairly hard case actually, but it's not plastic, uh, it's more like rubber but really hard. Um, and it, as you can see it looks okay, um, kind of reflects a little bit of light making the, uh, the, bad, the view of the phone itself like the back cover if uh, you want to see colors of it really well then probably not the best case for that but still a really nice case in all honesty I'm gonna keep it for now or actually I will take it off because it will be probably easier to see the camera setups and stuff like that so while talking about cameras let's go to the back so as you can see you have the quad camera setup and the main pixel shooter is a 108 megapixel sensor uh, that can shoot up to 8K 30 frames. Um, so just an absurd amount of uh, footage that it can get. Um, then you also have a 13 megapixel ultra wide, uh, 2 megapixel macro lens and 2 megapixel depth sensor. And uh, apart from shooting at 8K, it also does all the other stuff. So it shoots at 4K 30 and 60. Uh, so that's a positive, the really nice that it shoots at 60. And uh, then AEP the same, 60, 30. And comes also with the gyro uh, image stabilization, the electronic image stabilization, which works really well. I actually had like a little quick footage that I just captured, um, if I can distinguish which one is which actually, uh, because I did record basically the same thing over and over with different resolutions and frame rates. Uh, let's see, where's the... Looking for the gallery app, but I can't seem to find it. Team Cleaner Security, where is it? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I am blind. It's literally the first icon. So I'm pretty sure the last one that I recorded would be a, a 60. Yeah, that was the 60. Not sure how this will look in, a, in the video, but I do have to say that the this is the 8K at 30, and I would not use that honestly. It can record it, but it uh, it is not smooth, even at the 30 frames that, that it's supposed to be. It has these stutters where you can see them, uh, where it kind of like just for a split second it lags and just jags it. Uh, not not the best, uh, not, not the best I would say. Uh, so I would uh, I would rather stick to 4K or 1080p, but have it butter smooth than uh, push the f uh, f the resolution. So, but that's my personal preference. And also going a little bit lower in resolution will save you uh, quite a significant uh, 
space uh, for the footage and actually if we go back I wonder if I can check it uh, got it can I get a let me quickly uh, I want to see how much space it takes but it's it's gonna be right here details so this one takes 17 megabytes apparently but that's not 8k oops my bad stop S stop it oh um so let's see maybe i want to show basically the difference okay so there we go there's the 8k so it's actually showing not the 8k before so this is it and oh my god this is even worse um so i think what i was showing was a 1080p at 30 frames that's why it looked didn't, didn't look so smooth but this is the 8k at 30 and it looks in my opinion horrendous compared to like just the 60 frame rate um and as you also seen the size is 71 megabytes uh, for a 30 frame video while uh, 60 61 let's see details takes 17 and that's 1080p though so keep that in mind um, probably 4k will take about 40 I'm pretty sure this probably would be 4k I guess we'll see now that's also 1080p let me just quickly uh, get nothingness it doesn't really matter what I record so let's see how long were the videos it was about five seconds that's wait, let's compare it to the 8k though so we have a fairly good comparison let's just check it so 8k this is also five seconds okay so all we need to do is get five second video at let's see um it's 1080p 4k 60 there we go one two three four five there we go and this will take 33 so it's a little bit less than half of what uh or more than half uh, what the 8k takes and keep in mind that this will be in my opinion better quality because of the smoothness that will come in now although i didn't move the camera right here so you won't i won't be even showing this it was just stationary not even focused so nothing really to show here it just primarily the size difference of files um so now that we got stuck on the uh, video, which probably would be anyway the main priority of this device, uh, basing that they're trying to push as many pixels into it as as they can, uh, and I wouldn't say they did it very well, uh, based on the fact that the 8K isn't the best. We can now move on to the front cameras with or camera. It's a single one, as you can see, it's the one right here, this little thingy, and it's a just a simple 20 megapixel wide sensor that can shoot at 1080p 30 frames. So nothing really mind-blowing, uh, it doesn't do any 60 or anything like that, just a simple sensor. Um, and then also we can now move on to the uh, display itself. So the display is also nothing mind-blowing, it's a 1080p, so 1080 by 2340 uh, pixels, 6.67 uh, inch display with a pixel per inch of 386 and body to screen ratio of 89.8 um, it does kind of in hand feel like the screen to body ratio is a little bit higher than uh, i would say something like 91 uh, not really sure why i get this feeling maybe because of the curved edges or something but it feels a little bit bigger in hand compared to the bezels and uh, the display itself, the panel, is a Super AMOLED, so you get these super, super deep blacks, or, well, basically turn off blacks. Uh, they, they don't really show any light when you're using the device at night. Uh, you don't see uh, backlighting under the black color. And apart from that, um, the screen protection, or well, just a glass on it, is just a Gorilla 5. 
Uh, also you get glass back, so this is also glass uh, because of the wireless charging that will go in soon. And the frame of the device itself is just simple aluminum. So this bluish thing around is, is aluminum. So um, then the device itself has a couple versions of it. Uh, so you have the uh, option of 8 and 12 gigabytes and also 128 gigabyte uh, memory and uh, 256. So when it comes down for the base model, which costs uh, 799 uh, euros, that is, uh, you will get the 128 gigabyte storage with 8 gigabytes of RAM, and you can go up to uh, 256 8 or 256 12 gigabyte uh, version. So you have a couple of choices, although I didn't write down the prices for the two other ones. Uh, so the uh, almost 800 euros is just for the base version, the lowest one. Um, and then moving on, it comes with a Snapdragon 865 and the battery in here is also quite substantial. It's a 4780 milliamps uh, battery, so it's quite a hefty battery. And on top of that, it does uh, fast charging at 30 watts, so that's also fast charging. Uh, probably for this kind of size of the battery, it's the best choice uh, to go high. But it's also something that surprised me uh, is the wireless charging. It does charge at also 30 watts, so you'll get as much uh, as quick of a charge on the cable as you will get on your Qi charger, assuming your Qi charger can pump up 30 watts of power to it. Assuming it can, it's basically as good as a wireless charging it in this case. Um, so that is really nice, I would say. Now, when it comes down to actual like the charging of the devices itself, uh, 30 watts is, uh, I would say, standard for fast charging nowadays in 2020. Uh, devices, I think, go up to 60 now, so you're not not really getting the ultimate like super fast charging, but this is a fairly good balance. And what else is there? Um, it comes with a EMUI 12, or not 12, 11, unless it has an update to 12, which I haven't checked. Um, it does have a Play Store, which is a, a big thumbs up uh, comparing to some <laughs> other company uh, that tries to sell more premium device for a higher price tag and no Play Store. Um, so, yeah. Now, I guess this would sum up the overview of the specs, so we can also just get a uh, brief look at the device. So as you go, also can see you have a under display fingerprint sensor which I would just expect it nowadays 2020 uh, without it uh, that's kind of eh, paying 800 euros for a device with back sensor would be just hilarious. Um, as you can see you have the back of the device with this kind of like the blue color. Um, the quad sensors on the bottom you have SIM tray right here, speaker grills, and simple uh, charging port type C. And on the right side, just move this, you have the buttons, as you can hopefully see, and then antenna bands, antenna bands, antenna bands, antenna bands, and nothing on the left side of the device is completely clean, apart from the antenna bands. And at the top, I believe, is that a, yep, that is an IR sensor, I believe. Uh, right at the top, so if you want to program something like a remote control, you can. I believe, I'm not sure, but uh, Xiaomi is one of those companies that keeps like putting the IR sensor in there, so you can use your phone as a remote if that's your thing. Or actually, you can control more than, for instance, like TV, you can control your air conditionings, movie theater, stuff like that, if you want to program that stuff in. Then I believe this is also another speaker grill, so that would make it too. Um, and a microphone on top for the loudspeaker and also there was a microphone on the bottom for the normal call. So that's basically how it looks like. Um, so this would conclude the unboxing along with the overview of the display or the device. <laughs> and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.